morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I am doing great, man. So many people obviously uh, excited to hear from you because obviously you've got a lot of a lot of fans up here in uh, in Big Sky Country. So uh, let's start off with uh, what, what's going on down there in uh, it, or what, over there, I guess, in California. Yesterday was Media Day. Yeah, I had the first uh, taste of Media Day. It was quite the experience. Definitely an eye-opening experience on how kind of grand a scale the Super Bowl is. Yeah, I can imagine. And so what, is it just, you know, one interview after another just all day long? Uh, Really, it's only about an hour and a half of just, you know, a full arena full of media just constantly circling, asking you questions. You're kind of getting pulled here and there from, you know, I, I think I got interviews from people from England and Mexico and, you know, so it's, it's international. It's a, it's a huge game. Wow. Yeah, obviously. I mean, everybody, you know, cares about the Super Bowl no matter where you're from. And um, th- and then what's today look like for you? What's the rest of the, just for people that obviously haven't played in the Super Bowl, which I'm guessing are most of us, what is, well, you know, you're already there. You did media day yesterday. What is the uh, the rest of the week look like leading up to the big game Sunday? Uh, well, actually, today's our day off, so hopefully I get a chance to see San Francisco a little bit. And, uh take in a little bit of the sights, and then Wednesday through Saturday basically will be like a regular work week for us. So we'll do our best to try to keep our same schedule and keep us in our same routine so it feels like a regular game. Okay, excellent. Yeah, you just want to you know get get into that routine that's obviously been working out so well for you guys this season. And speaking of this season, I mean – how what happened this season that you guys were just on fire you were like unstoppable all season what changed from past seasons or was this just i mean did you guys just mesh super well i mean why do you think you guys had such a successful season i think it's just kind of a coming together of uh years of of hard work and putting this team together and our you know general manager and coaches have just done a great job Selling pieces and developing young guys, and you know we we've been in the playoffs the last three years, and you know to see us kind of progress and get better each year, and see Cam Newton develop into you know the MVP that he is today, you know it's 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 really been something special to be a part of, and I, I just think we all kind of came together at, at the right time and through all these kind of shared experiences of. Maybe not doing as well as we wanted to in the playoffs last year. I think we kind of had a, a realization that, that, that this this was our time, and you know our coaches did a good job setting the tone and making us take it week by week, and that's kind of the result we've gotten. Yeah, it's it's so fun to watch from the outside because it's just it seems like the way you just expressed it seems so true. It seems like a bunch of guys that really enjoy each other's company, enjoy playing on the same team, that are just doing really well, and then it seems like the momentum. Every week, it just brings you guys closer together and makes a more cohesive unit. It just seems like you got better and better, and you guys have way more fun. You know, a lot of teams go out there and it seems like a job, which it is in, on one hand, but you guys can go out there, get the job done, and have a smile on your face and cheer with the crowd and dab all over the place and and uh, wear $800 crazy-ass Versace pants uh, on the airplane. And that, that's what we do. You know, uh, we're, we're having fun. I, I don't believe anybody's having more fun than us. But at the same time, we we know how to work in our the process that we go about preparing for teams. Obviously, has been proven successful. So we're just staying with that, and like I said, having having fun at the same time, and that that makes it just a great workplace environment where guys want to be around each other and want to be at work and want to play hard for each other. Absolutely. You look at the two quarterback matchups here. Obviously, Peyton Manning is a legend himself, but to me, he just kind of looks like a, you know, he looks, seems friendly and nice, but he's just kind of like a boring a boring dude. Like, he's like a dad, you know, that should own, like, <laughs> he seems like a guy that could own some Papa John's, you know, and just, you look at him like that, but Cam seems awesome. Cam Newton just seems like one of the coolest dudes. He's so fun to watch. He's so entertaining, and uh, tell people a little bit about him, because Cam, you guys aren't just teammates. You and Cam are pretty good friends, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we get, we get along uh, pretty well and, you know, go to some of the same functions or whatnot. I mean, he, he, he's a big kid, you know, and uh, I think uh, he's kind of figured it out over the last few years that uh, he's not doing this by himself and he's got a, a team behind him that believes in him and, you know, he's got his back no matter what. But I think that 
it's kind of been his biggest growth is just realizing, you know, he's got a team behind him and his team, you know, we're, we're going to do anything that can to help him win. And we see how bad he wants to win. And uh, he, he's really just a, a big competitor and a big, a big kid who kind of realizes this opportunity he has and he, he's going to take advantage of it. That's awesome. Somebody, Stevie Z on our app wants to know, how many times is Dwan going to take down old man Peyton? Do we have a man, prediction? That's, that's, that's a good question. Uh, if I can get him once, that would be would be awesome. But you know, twice is uh, would, would be would be everything. <laughs> so one, we're yeah. we're hoping for at least one, but two would be icing on the cake. No doubt. Perfect, perfect. And uh, what it, would it be like? I mean, obviously the Super Bowl is huge. Is this one of the? I mean, you're getting your career. I mean, you've been in this a, a long time, and so I mean, I'm guessing you know retirement might not be imminent, but it's going to be coming here. Is this? Does this sway your mind on when you might retire? Is this kind of one of those things in the NFL where it's like you know I'll keep playing, I'll keep playing, and then you get to the point where if you're thinking about retirement, and then all of a sudden you get to go to the Super Bowl, you can kind of go, you know what? Now whenever I'm ready, I'm I'm ready. I've I've been to the big game uh, and that'll be definitely part of the process and uh we'll see kind of how this uh the super bowl turns out but yeah i'll be i'll have some downtime for some some reflection and kind of see uh where, where my mind and my body is and you kind of just go go from there but you know after a while you you begin to miss football and being around the guys and like i said I, we've had so much fun this year and i think we'll be good for you know, the Panthers will be good for years to come. So you kind of just got to take it take it one at a time, and we'll, we'll see what happens after this game. Excellent. Good idea. I, I want to see you stick it out forever. I want to see, you know, you get <laughs> wheeled out there on a, on a wheelchair still playing when you're like 80 years old. So um, what do you – have you met – or I'm, I'm sure you've probably met at some point, but do you say hey or anything to Brock Osweiler, like being a Montana boy? or I, I have not had a chance to run into him, but I'm, I'm sure I will. I usually try to say something to most of uh, the Montana guys that I see. But uh, it, it'll be cool, especially we have the same college coach in Dennis Harris, too, so it, it'll, it'll kind of be fun to swap the stories, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, obviously, us, everybody here in the state's pretty split, you know, but it's like everybody's got a, a horse in the race since – You've either got Brock if you're a Broncos fan, and you've got Dwan if you're a, a Bronco hater or a Panthers fan. And uh, are you still gonna? I mean, I know you come back to Billings a lot and do your football camp here in Billings. Are you thinking you'll be doing the football camp again and bringing the uh, Super Bowl ring to show off to all the kids? That would be um, amazing. Uh, that's that's the plan. Uh, we'll we'll see if I can uh, if it comes to life and we we play the play the game we're planning on playing, but. Uh, I would love to be able to do that and share it with the, the kids and, you know, not only that, my family and the community of Columbus and, you know, Montana as well. Yeah, that would be great. And uh, before we go, we got to get a little inspiration. Obviously, we're all rooting for you. It's going to be so fun to watch out there. But, I mean, you're such a success story for, I mean, because, I mean, Billings success stories are weird enough, but a Columbus, Montana success story, I mean, most of us from here in Billings have been to Columbus many times. That is even crazier. So what would you say to any, you know, young people out there, or not even young people, but people that just, you know, have dreams but might be, you know, doubting themselves and thinking, you know, it's just like, ah, it's not possible from because of where I'm from or because of how I grew up or something. I mean, do you have any sort of advice for people out there about, you know, just getting it done if you really want to do it? Uh, man, it, it's tough because there's always going to be obstacles and uh, obstructions and stuff to get in your way. And, you know, it's so easy to talk yourself, you know, out, out, out of things. But, uh, you know, I just kind of believe that, you know, if I, if I worked hard, you know, some good things would happen for me. And, you know, it, it's worked for me ever since since high school, and you know, when you kind of have to move up the rankings, you know, whether it's going from high school to college, college to NFL, it's kind of a, a humbling experience. You gotta you gotta start over and kind of work your way back up. So I think just trusting yourself and trusting the process uh, of getting better, and you know, you got obviously want to surround yourself with, with with good people that are are trying to help you and not pull you back. That's, that's basically all I can say is, is just continue to work hard and, and have faith and surround yourself with positive people. 
Well, that's I think it's great advice, man. And Dwan, I've been I've been watching your career for many years since we've had you up here in the studio every you know many many times here to talk about your camps when you're in Billings and just to share your uh, your success story with uh, young people around here. And I, it's so awesome to watch your career. You're such a humble, awesome, cool dude, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm ecstatic that you made it to the big game and that we'll get to watch you this Sunday in the Super Bowl. As we all know, Carolina Panthers. Did you see EA Sports in their Madden prediction? Dwan put you guys up. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes, they yeah. they did. They run that game every year where they run the simulation, and they said that the Broncos were going to uh, – you guys were up 17 nothing at the half. Then in the second half, the Broncos come back and actually lead you for a little bit, and then Cam runs one in for a touchdown to win the game. So they've been right 9 out of 12 times. Well, that's pretty good odds. I'll uh... – I like where they're going with that. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I can't wait to see it happen, man. And uh, like like we said, let's get, let's get two Peyton Manning sacks. Dwan Edwards, everybody. Check him out Sunday in the Super Bowl. Support the Montana boy playing for the Carolina Panthers. Dwan, thanks so much for uh, taking time on your day off to talk to us here on the Big J Show. No problem. Thanks for having me. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.